So we don't question God's decisions, but we don't accept that he could kill. No, you should question them. Okay. You could question them all you want. To wrestle with God is biblical. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm checking out abortion activists. Ask Charlie Kirk if a miscarriage is God's abortion. Who asks this kind of question though? <laughs> guys, I'm just straight into this. So, I understand that you are anti-abortion. I want to know at what point do you consider a person to be a person? Conception. Okay. So then a follow-up question. Would a miscarriage be considered an abortion by God? No. Why? No. Well, first of all, we don't question God's plans when it comes to life or death. Only he, the author of life, know the purpose. But it's an accidental death, yeah. I mean, it's a tragedy, but no, it, it was not an abortion by God. No. So we don't question God's decisions, but we don't accept that he could kill no you should question them okay you could question them all you want to wrestle with god is biblical but to usurp him is not to so, wrestle with questions that are very difficult it's totally understandable especially people that have dealt with miscarriages okay. god is sovereign god okay. has a plan and it doesn't comfort people but i will say this that it is tempting to dwell on the mysteries of life of evil now there's two types of evil evil that humans do and evil that just happens for inexplicable reasons evil that humans do i can understand we are rotten to the core for example somebody says charlie the holocaust made me lose faith in god I say no the holocaust made me lose faith in humanity <laughs> not in god big difference there's other types of evil though natural disasters hurricanes tsunamis earthquakes those are tough we as religious people miscarriages we have to explain those, and I'm not the first person to get that question, and there's been an unbelievable amount of writing. However, the atheists or the secularists, they have a lot of explaining to do, because they got to explain everything else. <laughs> they got, they got to explain how that baby was formed in the first place. They have to explore DNA, explain DNA. They have to explain life, breath, our immune system, how we're able to communicate with one another. What I'm getting at is, and you're touching on something that is fundamentally one of the great mysteries of life. And the inexplicable, I think, tests the faith of the believing. And anyone who, anyone who gives you a great answer to that question, it's just probably full of bluster. But does it question my faith? No, it actually makes me attach more to an almighty God that gave us existence and life and the universe. Thank you for your question. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. Well, guys, tell me, be honest, what do you think about this? If I want to be honest, I'll say miscarriage is life. Life is not fair, and no one gets this perfect thing. And I honestly believe that God gives and He takes. Well, see, one thing I've come to understand is that you don't judge God's actions. Believe it and like just take it as it is. Like it's something I've come to understand is that what happens to you is God's direction of like God is just trying to point you to something bigger. Like there was a guy in my church; he was. Married for like twenty something, like I think it was twenty years without giving birth. Or oh, the wife got pregnant and she got, and like she always gets miscarriage and stuff like that. Then later, it happened. She gave birth to twins and she gave birth to a boy. Again, and it was just amazing. The food church was filled with joy. Like seeing the man glow every Sunday was just amazing. I honestly believe that God is the author and finisher of our faith. You just have to put our trust to him. If God said this is not meant to be, it's not. You don't judge him because he's the owner of you. It's more like my PS5 is telling me I, I don't want to be on today. Like, if I want to delete the game, he cannot tell me not to delete the game. Like, I bought him, so I own him. I really don't think people can, like, question God. But guys, tell me your reason. Like, give me your own perspective of this question. I want to read it in the comment section and let's have the debate. Guys, I'll see you next time, guys. First.